Hello boys and girls, welcome to Peak Over My Shoulder in Wasteland 2. It's a new day, I have cleared up my external hard drive a little bit. And we have gathered here in, in uh, General's office. Because reasons, also that's where I left off last time. And uh, to start off today's session I plan to explore the citadel some more. Okay, why uh, why does the view keep rotating? I'm not pressing anything and come on, stop. Goody. Anyway, before I go on the exploration, there is one matter I want to sort out. So I'll be right back. Okay, we're back here and now I want to see I want to check the names of the of the Meta A team. So it's Peppered, Benedict, Schultz and what's Mr. Tu Turo? Should be right, yeah. <laughs> I knew Mr. T had the French name but I I can't recall it. <laughs> Team Abel. Okay, I can now return to normal gameplay. Right, so we are back here. And, uh, and our... Come on, screen, behave. And our uh, load game all messages kick in situation has us informed Not to back to Ranger City crossing it off the list so uh, basically we're getting all the updates all at once because because apparently we, we should have come in here a lot sooner and it turns out that uh, that we have actually dealt with the, all the infection Places, infection do that. Oh. I wonder if this will become a plot point at some point. Looks like an elevator. Looks like a deep shaft. There might even be a vault, perhaps. Where's the who's gone? <laughs> what? Pretty fancy for a sheriff's office. <laughs> hey, you're supposed to be a prisoner. Right, since we are no longer carrying so copious amount of stuff, let me put on my charisma color. And now uh, I need to find some quest items which I presume we have dropped off somewhere on the map. Uh, the android leg should be somewhere. Either we sold it to her for safekeeping or we just just plain dropped it. Hello. Motivating. to Angela. I want to know if she wants uh, Ace's star for herself. Also, this might be the corner where we put the goodies. Hello. Did you find anything out about Ace's killer yet? A, a robot? He was killed by a robot? But we killed all the robots back when we blew up Base Cochise. Where the fuck did this thing come from? God damn it. <laughs> we gotta find out who sent the robot. You sure you don't want some help with this? Mm, okay, okay, yep. I was just asking. Shit. I knew it. I was hoping, but... But I knew it. 
Poor Hellraiser. How did it happen? Do you know Darwin? Blake? Jesus, that gives me the chills. Listen, let me come with you. I've been to Darwin. I know where it is. And now I got two reasons to want these metal murderers dead. You want me to roll out with you? Just say the word. Yeah, not fine. Genie. Well, let me know if you change your mind. So, pretty freaky, all told. I'm no scientist, but they were up to some state-of-the-art biological research. Nothing good came out of it. Just monsters. When Snake, Thrasher, Hellraiser, and I rolled through about 15 years back, we left it in ruins. We did the world a favor in that. Okay, so I take it I can't take care out there, go for her racist star. Right, this place has an antenna. Where's the robot leg? Can we go into the tent? No. That's the thing when uh, when you play and record in uh, um, long binges spaced out uh, over long periods is that I get I do a whole lot of shit and then I for forget about it. <laughs> okay, the containers are empty. Anything buried here that we haven't seen previously? That might often be the case. Nope. dogs right now, although at some point it might be useful to take them with us, maybe. Check the graveyard. So, all your friends are buried here, huh? <laughs> Man, that sucks. buried in here just just checking hey why is it in half mast okay let's check with the trader do the trading. Although I think we get the uh, barter bonus no matter who's done, who's doing the talking. Okay, show me, show me junk. Uh, cockroach legs, cockroach on antenna fly legs. Hmm, so she doesn't have it. Problem then? Let's see our 
doodads, although I think right now we don't have anything to sell, so let's... First off, top of the canteens, because it's good practice to keep the water full. And now let's check the inventory is real good. And I think quest items go under miscellaneous. Normally I would have him carry it, but I, I remember it was kind of heavy, so I might have loaded it off somewhere. What the fuck if I remember? Well, he certainly doesn't have it. Okay. Yeah, of course. We don't have it because we already hand it in. In that case, let's go back in. Should we have talked to him again? Let's go back in and let's talk to the weapons. The weapons person. Yes, that's better. Okay, so it's through the supplies thingy. So this is where the prisoners work. <laughs> I knew you would like it here. Ah, the heroes of High Pool. Welcome. I've been expecting you. That should work. Have you now? A very tough decision, considering it was your first time out. I would have picked Ag Center personally, but I understand your decision. Water is essential to the growth of the wastes. General Vargas gave me the leg from the synthetic life form you discovered. It's truly remarkable but unnerving. I've never seen robot tech this advanced. It'll take me some time to give it a full examination. Sure. Oh wait, I almost forgot. Did the general tell you? He was so pleased that you found Ace's killer that he authorized a requisition order for you. You were to have your pick of some of my more interesting creations. Ooh. <laughs> don't mind if I do. Some very nice pieces. Let's see. The general allocated a requisition for you for completing a thorough investigation of Captain Ace's death site. So will she pick up, uh, pick out the doodad for us or can we choose? <gasps> Whoa! What's this? Whoa! Oh, damn. 
he can't wear it. Okay. In that case, for now, let's let's not. Vargas is a man of vision and prudence. I know a lot of the rangers think he's too cautious, but I can't agree. Slow and steady is the way to go. He's done an amazing job rebuilding the rangers after our war with the robots from base Cochise, and we're stronger than ever before. That doesn't mean, however, that we should now go charging off to fight everybody and their brother. We must expand gradually and fully assess all threats before taking action. Well... The others say that our biggest threat is the Red Scorpion Militia, who have taken over the prison which used to be our headquarters. They've been getting more organized and settled, and the fear is, now that they've established themselves, they'll start expanding their borders. What I say is, this will make them easier to negotiate with. Nomadic raiders have nothing to lose. A clan with towns and farms to protect thinks twice about risking their destruction by going to war. I say our biggest threat is expanding too fast. Let's make sure the communities we patrol are fully protected before we go looking for more. Right. A pre-war research facility dedicated to the science of robotics. Its mainframe was malfunctioning and kept building more and more robots and sending them out to defend itself against imaginary enemies. The rangers destroyed the computer and the robots and saved the world, <laughs> which is of course a good thing, but well, <laughs> I wish I had been a ranger then. From all reports, the sophistication of the computer's AI was incredible, and its death was a great loss to science. I can't help thinking that, had I been there, I might have been able to find a way to shut it down without destroying it. What a tool for good it could have been. Nerd power! Every new recruit the General brings in gets around to visiting us eventually. The weapons and armor we make are what keep them alive, after all. Most are curious where they come from. <laughs> I imagine you're no exception. Well, that's a bit of a misnomer. <laughs> we do make some of them, the really interesting ones. But mostly what we do here is refurbish scavenged weapons and armor. One thing we hope our rangers will do is collect any broken down weapon parts, stray bits left over from modding, what have you, that they find as they patrol the wastes and bring them back here to Melsum over in the quartermaster's office. In exchange, Got it. he'll buy it off you at a great markup. He knows his guns, I'll give him that. Though <laughs> I wouldn't have him in my shop. He's not nearly focused <laughs> enough. Hoo-ha. <laughs> the interesting ones are my department. I'm always trying to come up with new and better weapons and armor using bits and bobs we have lying around. Can't just give them away, though. Creating them takes a lot of our precious resources. So the general is pretty tight with the requisition orders. Okay, what about armor? We have everything from sturdy leather jackets to hand-forged plates to the finest reconditioned pre-war combat armor we can find. You'll have to pay for the more expensive items. Research and repair doesn't come free, but we aren't out to make a profit, just to recoup our expenses. Go see Sergeant Melson for that. Okay, okay. I've got some custom, interesting armor. But the General's orders are to save those for special loadouts only. Oh, does that mean we need to lock, uh, unlock some special skills and or special levels and or special We missions? service, repair and reinvent every kind of weapon. From knives and handguns to rifles, even energy weapons, when we can get our hands on them. We don't do explosives though. <laughs> That's TNT Tan's department. Nicest guy you could ever want to meet. <laughs> shall we say, less than cautious? He's nearly blown himself up more than once. He likes creating experimental explosives just like I like working on experimental weapons and armor. Though I dare say my secret <laughs> is <clears throat> a trifle better than his. Not to mention the finger count. I take Some it. very nice pieces. Let's see. Uh, no, wait, wait. I don't want to trade right now. Hmm. Nothing new for you. Oh, okay. So wait, if I ask about this, she opens the trader menu. And if I ask about this... Hmm, well, the general keeps a tight grip on requisition orders. All of the officers in the Citadel have the power to give them out. 
but only if we think a particular weapon would be necessary for the successful completion of a mission, oh. or if we're impressed by how a ranger team completed a difficult assignment. I can hand over one piece of tech for each wreck you earn, but just one. So make sure you think it over before you take the first shiny thing you see. Okay, and... Does this mean she is giving us something special just for just as a reward or, or what? Thanks for visiting, recruits. Come by anytime. And go see Sergeant Melson if you're looking to shop. Um okay, let's see. Let's let's go talk Holy to Holy cow! <laughs> Anybody here must be so smart. <laughs> smart. Oh, I didn't remember him. <laughs> Tell me more. Look at the heavy weapons, but whoa, I, I will consider this. Oh, these are already modded, okay. Yeah, I, I might consider making him a heavy maybe Is this uh It appears that I should actually put some points in Kisas. I don't like it. Wait, where do I know that name from? Some pills we can we can give him. Okay, let's see now what we can do in here. 
Yo. Not yet. Two armor, free armor. Okay, sure, it's better than. Ooh. Oh, okay. So we can actually get radiation stools from him. That's good to know. Ah, uh, let's uh, sort sort the items. Whoa. stuff. Okay, bye. Let's see what we've got right now. Uh, she has a shirt. A jacket. Oh, he doesn't have anything. I think a tactical vest would suit him fine. Ralph, he doesn't have anything and he doesn't... Oh, he has his own armor. Okay, so basically we could use two pieces of armor. Better keep me away from all those guns. <laughs> I might do something rash. <laughs> sure thing, Pops. Okay, let's go give the good doctor some pills. Was it over here? Oh no, that's that's something else. Can I? No. So where was the dock over here? Ah oh, yeah, extra sandbags, explodies. Do we have enough to give him? Oh, okay, so we uh, we have to just basically sell them. Well, you can have mine. a certain number or does he does he is he always on the lookout for some rail oh rail nomads camp I don't remember a cave there but Okay, so it, it seems like uh, he had enough for now. Goody. Which means... Save. Whoops. Two minutes. 
digits. Uh, let's let's give Ace a star to him. Okay. Books, huh? <laughs> Never saw the point of books. <laughs> right, let's head outside and check our weaponry because I think I want to change the loadout a little bit. The observe screen. Stop spinning. I got the observe prompt about him. Let's see if he says anything else. Oh, okay. Never mind. So load out. nice as having a trophy item is let's equip him with a good old regular oh okay I got the ammo back good old regular rifle and he has okay he has a rifle and also a pistol and also this So, let's see what happens if we leave the rat here. Okay. <sighs> so I take it we can just get the rat back if we leave it here which would be lovely especially when it's time to level up <laughs> Marked. Ah, yeah, because the evil doctor is still alive, I guess. We will see. But for now, let's, let's go deliver that letter. Yes. Back in the desert. Able one to Citadel Base. 
Go ahead, Evil One. On site, talk to caller looking for bogeys. 10-4, Able One. Advise when complete. <laughs> Roger, Citadel Base. Able One out. Um, so the radiation in this pass is pretty much the same as in this pass. So I guess we should just push on. Yeah, let's, let's not go exploring right now. Ten water. Twenty-one water. We can explore when we when we move back. Let's head for the oasis and then Umbrella, all right. So why did we get? Why did? Why do we occasionally? Yeah, let's let's just push it through here. Why do we occasionally get the hundred, and occasionally get eighty? Shit, shit, shit! Hurry up, people! Ooh. Just, just go in there. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, right now let's carry on. It cause radiation. Uh, I think we need to go to that instant camp right now. So let's go in there. Okay, we're uh, we're in the Atchinson camp now. Montaging or well, right now just just running towards the towards the camp. I discovered that he doesn't uh, he didn't have the right ammo for the Caribbean so I switched it out for the revolver for now because I don't want to take any sniper ammo away from tinkering okay Melissa Anybody what a in this dried up little turd of a town. Shush you, show some respect. Also, let's, let's take some water while we're at it. Where's the well? It was just here. Oh, it's over there. Nope, they don't have first names, so not them. Maybe I should read the instruction again. Oh, okay, it didn't uh, specify that it should be on the Ashton side, so it might be on the other side. Since we're here, let's let's check the houses. So this was the empty house, this was the trader. <laughs> Is he gonna say anything? I ain't spending another damn night in here. Okay, okay. Fucking yurt. <laughs> Say hi to Casey, just in case. And Jesse. The Hello. Rangers, my heroes. Hey -o. Rangers, good to see you. Hi. It kills me we were so blind about how to make peace. 
And I thank you again for all you did to make it happen. Everything is so much better now. And us and the Topekans should have the train up and running again in no time. Okay, so it looks like we need to go to the other side. Which means montage time. What's not gonna work? Ooh, they have finally taken down the dead. Okay. I have no idea where this Katie or Kathy might be, so let's wonder about it a little bit. I'm guessing we should probably check the rails where most people are working. We might need to check the meeting hall and we might need to check the residences. I don't know, this is the bar. Oh, while we're at it, let's, let's check into the bar. Maybe she's one of the patrons. I guess uh, she might be in that house next to Libby. I can't remember which host was which. Let's check this one. James, Billy, Nancy. Huh, okay, no Katie then. place just in case. Can't remember if there was anybody else there besides uh, Libby and the elder noob. Uh, I think next place to check is the is the map, uh, map beginning basically. Maybe she will meet and greet us there. Then we should check the hobo hub and then we should check the meeting hall. out here? Hello? Okay, nobody's waiting for us here, so whoever she is, we need to find her.
break this down now. No. Check every location now. The junkies, the graveyard, the hobos, the big house. Unexpected here. Also, I notice uh, the lack of following right now. I wonder if you enter the map from uh, from the Atchison side. Will this prevent? the suit guy showing up or or what now right now I want to read the labels She's not buried here. Hobos then? Hobo, 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 hobo. Squishmo. I have no idea how to pronounce this. Good for you. Hobo. Okay, she is not here either. <laughs> so let's check behind the stores. We haven't checked this house. Come on, guys, you could have just crossed here. Oh, Rob, ah. where are you? Um, hello. Oh, 
Oh, Rangers? I was expecting my brother. He... he gave you a letter? For me? Oh, please, give it to me, give it to me! Why? What are you doing here? Has something happened? Is Rob okay? That's none of your business. <laughs> give it to me! Ah, missed some information <laughs> here. Now, please, if you don't mind, I'd like to read it in private. Okay. Thank you for respecting my privacy, Rangers. Goodbye. Oh, so it's it's her who keeps all those dirty pants in those crates. Can we hang around and see what she's doing? We're not here! Uh, let's make a manual save here. Okay, let's step out and see if she comes out too. What? What just happened? Shit. Huh. Okay, so I think we can definitely do better. And we can't see what's in the letter. Huh. I think I need to invest in my kiss as uh, skills before I attempt to tackle this matter. So yes, uh, I'm going to end the episode here. And I'm going to uh, roll back to a previous save, I think. And then we will see what, what we, uh, how we can do better. For now, thank you very much for watching, bye bye and see you in the next one.